Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadowfrax here with your weekly jet of Rust development foam. But first, make sure to slap the subscribe button and shoot up the notification bell in case one day it decides to work. No harm in being future-proof, eh? So, what do I have for you this week? Well, those of you with still-functioning memories may recall that many moons ago I showed you an idea for a spray can in Rust that's been in concept limbo ever since. But just within the last 24 hours, as I write this, it resurfaced in an animation posted to Twitter. Now, I do have to emphasize firstly that this is still just an idea, and that just because we've got some new footage of it doesn't mean it's moved any further forward, but it is an interesting prospect. Also, exactly what we'll be able to do with it if and when it ever moves out of concept limbo is still unknown. Will it be something for freestyle graffiti and Banksy-esque adventures, or just a tool for reskinning certain large objects such as boats or building parts? If it was for graffiti, could you use it to camouflage your base? Could you tag bases you've already raided? Would you have to wash it off with buckets of water, with more being needed the longer it was on there? What would the aim cone be like? And and should it really just be called Rustoleum instead? So many questions, and I guess we'll just have to wait for answers. I like what Sir Winter suggested on Twitter, high-vis paint like they used to spray dead kangaroos with, to show they've been checked and are definitely dead. Although that would only apply in Rust if we were actually able to play dead with a ragdoll key or something, like I've suggested a billion times already. Plus, it would be good practice for when you do actually die a few moments later. I wouldn't get too excited though, it'll probably end up just being a boring tool for reskinning, but we can always hope. Hey. Further to last week's video about the minigun model, which I showed you as being in the works, I have heard rumours, and they are just rumours, that not only will we be able to hold it in our greasy mitts, but possibly also mount it on things. Does that mean scrap helis? Turrets? Cars? Really not sure at the moment, but I'll tell you when I find out. Talking of cars, much work is still going on, with many commits relating to the vehicle lift, a video of which was posted on Facepunch's Instagram as far back as September last year. Seems this will be an electrical item, but how we'll use it, where we'll get it, how big it'll be, and where we'll find the bits to build cars is all still an unknown. There was also a fix in the commits for everyone in any seat trying to hold the steering wheel. Shame. That could have been fun. Work on HGRP continues, of course, with this week's commit seeing much improvements to caves and mines, along with better blending between terrain and underground entrances, plus some upgraded cave textures. There's also a new branch to optimize the foliage grid. The next iteration to farming is also still being moved forward, with the small planter becoming a default blueprint to help farmers get their hands dirty early on. There's the sprinkler system, of course, as mentioned before, a composter, fertilizer, and now dung. What kind of dung, exactly? Will we be making this ourselves, or... Now, this could open up a whole pile of possibilities. Dump your thoughts for me in the comments below. Talking of dung, a new version of Unity 2019.3 is out and Rust is being moved over to it, I think. Although, of course, there are always little wrinkles to iron out, so I'll update you on progress as we go. In the meantime, and if you're that way inclined, I'll leave a link to the release notes in the description. Finally, there were some new, more helpful messages added to show you what you're doing wrong when trying to place a building part, such as when trying to build in a prevent building volume, including monuments, when building too close to another building, and when trying to build in an area where you don't have building privileges. You silly, silly player. Join me over on Twitch, where I stream three times a week, and please consider funding my habits on Patreon, like these amazing folk on the right here. You can keep up to date with my content also on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group, and I shall catch you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio.